The story of the Bible is a tapestry woven with divine threads of grace, mercy, and redemption. It spans millennia, chronicling the rise and fall of nations, the faithfulness of God, and the struggles of humanity to find purpose and hope. This sacred narrative is not merely a historical account, it is a living testament to God's unchanging love and his relentless pursuit of a relationship with his creation. From the dawn of time to the promise of eternity, the Bible reveals the heart of a God who loves beyond measure. The journey begins with creation itself, where God spoke life into existence and declared it good. Humanity, formed in his image, was designed for intimate fellowship with him. Yet, the story takes a heartbreaking turn as Adam and Eve's disobedience in the Garden of Eden introduces sin into the world, severing that perfect communion. From this moment, the Bible becomes a testament to God's unwavering commitment to restore what was lost. Across its pages, we see God's hand guiding individuals like Abraham, Moses, and David, ordinary people called to extraordinary purposes. The narrative captures humanity's highs and lows, faith and failure, obedience and rebellion, triumph and tragedy. Prophets arise to call people back to God their voices echoing his promises of redemption. At the story's heart is the ultimate act of love, God sending his Son, Jesus Christ, to redeem a broken world. His life, death, and resurrection mark the turning point of history, bridging the chasm between God and humanity. The Bible concludes with the promise of a new heaven and earth, where God will dwell with his people forever. This timeless story invites each of us to step into its pages, find our place in its truth, and embrace the transformative power of God's love. Yet, even in this perfection, the seeds of rebellion were sown. Adam and Eve, deceived by the serpent, chose disobedience, and with that act, sin entered the world. The fall brought separation from God, but it also ignited his plan of redemption, a plan that would unfold over millennia. As generations passed, the wickedness of humanity grew. Violence and corruption consumed the earth until God, in his justice, decided to cleanse it through a great flood. Yet, in the midst of judgment, there was grace. Noah, a righteous man, found favor with God and was instructed to build an ark. Through this act of obedience, Noah, his family, and a remnant of creation was saved. After the floodwaters receded, God made a covenant with Noah, symbolized by a rainbow, a promise that he would never again destroy the earth by flood. This covenant was a reminder of his mercy and a foreshadowing of the greater covenant to come. God's plan continued through Abraham, a man called to leave his homeland and trust in God's promise. Abraham's faith became the foundation of a covenant that would shape history. God promised that through Abraham's descendants, all nations would be blessed. From Abraham came Isaac, and from Isaac came Jacob, who was later renamed Israel. Jacob's twelve sons became the patriarchs of the twelve tribes of Israel, a nation chosen to be God's instrument in the world. Even as they faced slavery in Egypt, God's hand remained upon them preparing the way for their deliverance. Under the leadership of Moses, God displayed his power through plagues and miracles, culminating in the parting of the Red Sea. This miraculous deliverance marked the beginning of Israel's journey to the promised land. At Mount Sinai, God gave his law, establishing a covenant with his people. The Ten Commandments were not merely rules but a revelation of God's character and a guide for holy living. Despite God's faithfulness, the Israelites often wavered in theirs. Their forty years in the wilderness were marked by rebellion and unbelief, yet God never abandoned them. Through it all, he provided manna from heaven, water from a rock, and a pillar of fire and cloud to guide their way. After the death of Moses, Joshua led the Israelites into the promised land. The conquest was a testament to God's power but it also revealed the people's ongoing struggles with faith and obedience. The period of the judges that followed was marked by cycles of sin. Oppression, 
repentance, and deliverance. Leaders like Gideon, Deborah, and Samson rose to deliver Israel, but the people's hearts often strayed. Desiring to be like other nations, the Israelites demanded a king. Saul was anointed as their first monarch, but his reign ended in failure. David, a shepherd boy with a heart after God's own, succeeded him. David's reign was a golden era, though not without sin and consequences. From his lineage, the promised Messiah would come. After Solomon's reign, marked by wisdom and wealth, the kingdom split into Israel, the northern kingdom, and Judah, the southern kingdom. The divided kingdoms were plagued by idolatry and injustice, leading to their eventual downfall. Prophets like Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Hosea called the people to repentance, warning of impending judgment. God's warnings were fulfilled as Israel fell to Assyria and Judah to Babylon. The destruction of Jerusalem and the temple was a devastating blow, yet even in exile, God remained faithful. He raised up prophets like Ezekiel and Daniel to sustain the people and remind them of his promises. After 70 years of captivity, God stirred the hearts of leaders like Zerubbabel, Ezra, and Nehemiah to return to Jerusalem and rebuild. The reconstruction of the temple and the city walls symbolized a renewed commitment to God. Yet, the people's hearts still wrestled with apathy and sin, leading to the prophetic warnings of Malachi. The Old Testament closes with a sense of longing, a yearning for the Messiah who would fulfill God's promises and restore his people. In the fullness of time, Jesus was born in Bethlehem. The eternal word became flesh, entering the world as a humble servant. His life, ministry, death, and resurrection were the culmination of God's redemptive plan. Jesus healed the sick, forgave sinners, and preached the kingdom of God. His sacrifice on the cross paid the price for sin, and his resurrection secured victory over death. Through Jesus, the barriers between God and humanity were torn down. He established a new covenant, inviting all to receive salvation through faith in him. After Jesus' ascension, the Holy Spirit empowered the disciples at Pentecost, igniting the spread of the gospel. The book of Acts chronicles the growth of the early church, from Jerusalem to the ends of the earth. Missionaries like Paul and Peter carried the message of Christ to Jews and Gentiles alike, planting churches and enduring persecution. The letters of the New Testament provide guidance and encouragement to believers, addressing theological truths and practical challenges. They remind us of our identity in Christ and the hope of his return. The Bible concludes with the book of Revelation, a vision of Christ's ultimate victory. John describes a new heaven and a new earth, where God dwells with his people. Every tear is wiped away, and death is no more. The story that began in Eden finds its completion in the eternal city, where believers will worship God forever. The story of the Bible is not just history, it is an invitation. It calls us to recognize our need for a Savior and to embrace the hope found in Jesus. As you reflect on this journey, may you be inspired to seek God with all your heart. His story is still unfolding, and you are a part of it. Embrace His love, trust in His promises, and share the good news with a world in need. Let this narrative remind you that God's Word is alive and powerful, offering guidance, comfort, and hope. No matter where you are on your journey, the story of the Bible assures us that God's grace is sufficient, His love is unending, and His plan is perfect.